Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. And uh, this is our kind of like our last full day. It is. It makes me is, sad. It is sad. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, again, it's another day that's uh, full of different things for us to do. And uh, we're starting super early, trying to catch some of the sunset or sunrise. Sunset. Yeah. So yesterday <laughs> I wanted to be down here about this time and uh, I hit snooze on my alarm and then it never went off again. So we kind of came out late. And, Sunrise uh, is like right around 6 a.m. Yeah. So, so it's just before 6 a.m. right now. And now the other thing too is that it actually doesn't come up over the water. It actually comes up kind of back behind the resort. So you do have a little bit more time to play with before the actual sun peaks up over there. Um, but you might be able to see you get some nice colors in the clouds. So uh, I'm going to be trying to get some more video again because really like the best time to get video is first thing in the morning. Uh, and just before sunset of that golden hour. So, let's go. All right, so we just got out and toured a little bit more of the resort. We're down here at the beach. Flew the drone a little bit more because uh, I flew it last night at sunrise or sunset. So I was trying to get it a little bit around sunrise today, which was nice. Um, we are going to go back in and uh, we're going to order some room service breakfast um, because why not? And I think we're going to come back down to the pool and uh, maybe something we'll talk about today are the activities because what I wanted to do was do like maybe one of the surfing, like windsurfing type of things or even just get a kayak and like kayak out into the water, but we'll see. Well, while Taylor takes some pictures, room service today for breakfast, we've got a very nice looking fruit salad plate. Looks pretty fresh. Taylor has got an omelet with just about everything from yesterday. And she's got some bacon, breakfast potatoes, and uh, I was feeling a little more savory today, so I got a breakfast burrito that comes with some little hash browns. I got a side of bacon, we got some sour cream, salsa. Of course, again, like I said yesterday, I love that they give you an entire craft of coffee, and we got some OJ as well. Let's eat. So we finished breakfast, and uh, we are now coming back down to the beach. So I feel uh, like we've done a lot of talking on this same walkway. <laughs> well, I mean, this is the walkway that we just take to go everywhere where we're going. So uh, we're going to go down to the, this is kind of like the equipment rental-ish area, stand, booth, desk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and just check to see uh, what kind of stuff that we can actually take out. Now, we did go over there during our resort tour and they explained it, but uh, I figured we'd come back and maybe try to do something today. So I know that you can go snorkeling. And these, and the snorkeling that they do is actually an excursion and it occurs uh, different times throughout the week. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm pretty sure that they do maybe one almost every day. And we're not gonna go do it because we're not actually gonna have time to do it because they usually do it in the afternoon about like two o'clock. And uh, something that we'll talk about later today is uh, that when you leave sandals, they will actually do COVID testing for you for free. Oh yeah. It's included. Um, so then that way you have your test before you go to fly back. So mm -hmm. we have that at two Then we're doing a live stream um, with sandals. And so that's kind of why, but we're going to do some stuff down here because it opens up at nine o'clock and it's just after nine. So let's see what we got. All right. So this is uh, the activities area. It's kind of on the, uh, if you're if you're looking at the resort it's on the right hand side uh just at the end of where the beach is at it's called the aqua center and uh this is what i want to take out as one of these things with the sails now i think they do give you like a lesson on actually how to use them um but that's what i want to go out and try and they've got life jackets if you need one of those it, it might be required for us to have one they also have um, paddle boards and there's some kayaks out there as you guys can see so let's go uh, find out what we can do all right so we forgot the sunblock so taylor's gonna go get the sunblock um they have vests here for you so it is required that you do wear these 
and we've never done the sailboat before so they actually do like a little training lesson for you um, beforehand so they'll show us how to use it I guess and then maybe we'll be able to do it ourselves I don't know so but we'll find out uh, not like this not like this one yeah I think so I mean maybe not well that's um so what you have here is your hobby 14 yeah okay. take up to four people how to sail you need win and you need tension in the sail yeah? okay so the faster you pull on the sail is the faster you go once there's wind don't pull it tight you want to slow down let go of the speed right here because of the wind and the tension in the sail Right here, really here we go. I guess we're going. I don't want to go fast. Well, here we go. <laughs> this is crazy. There's the resort. <laughs> it is actually kind of cool. I'm glad I decided to go. I can't see the phone screen though, so <laughs> it's getting good video. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys really know this about me or not, but I don't really like being in the ocean. I can swim, no problem. I did like all kinds of swim meets and stuff whenever I was in like elementary and high school. And <laughs> it's just the thought of like the unknown, I guess. <laughs> but I mean, the water is pretty clear. It's really nice weather. It's super comfortable. We are going a little too fast now. Slow down, please. Yeehaw! Give your thoughts. This is a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited. This is really cool because it's included. And the best part about it is, is that uh, they open up early in the morning and you can literally stay on this thing all day long if you want to until four o'clock. So it's all run on a first come first serve basis. So we're gonna go back out to the point, see if we can go a little further before we have to turn around. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. That right? was awesome. I was really like skeptical of the whole thing because all I could imagine was that it was gonna flip over and I was gonna have to like swim back or something because we weren't gonna be able to get it flipped back over. <laughs> but it was awesome. We did not flip because Josh was sort of a safe driver for us. <laughs> well, I asked, I mean, as soon as we got down there, I asked him if it was really easy to flip because that was one thing that I was worried about. Was it flipping over? But uh, I mean, unless you try to turn really, really hard, mm -hmm. uh, or really fast, like into the wind or something like that, you know, then it's easier to flip. But um, I think the most challenging part was when it started to pick up speed was to just remain calm because <laughs> I don't think that we were in danger. But no, but it would take off. But when that wind, when you get a nice gust of wind, it really does pick up, mm -hmm. which is a lot of fun. So it was fun. It was cool. And I think we're going to go back down later. Um, we may, uh, I'm going to try to maybe go charge the drone batteries and then. I at least want to like do that. it one more time. So yeah, we'll see. That was fun. I loved it. <laughs> All right. So something that I mentioned earlier that we have to go do right now is get a COVID test. And because of the requirements to get back into the U.S., um, we have to have a test done. Uh, basically, I think it's within... It's 24 to 48 hours before your flight back yeah. into the U.S. So what's really nice is that Sandals, uh, complimentary to your stay, will schedule a COVID test for you. Mm -hmm. And basically what you'll do is they'll give you a sheet. So I'm not going to show you this sheet of paper. I should have showed you it earlier before we filled it out. Um, but it'll just ask some questions. Basically, it's just you filling in some personal information for them um, so that they can provide you with an official document so that when you go to check in at the airport here, in Antigua, 
uh, you can basically get back into the States. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, we learned that it's very different than the first one that we got, which was a PCR. Yeah, that was a PCR. Um, this one's a rapid. This one is a rapid and they have to take basically the 22 inch stick and shove it all the way up into your brain. So we're a little nervous about that, but you know, I mean, honestly, being able to come here and hang out and say and have a great time, it's a little bit worth kind of the brief amount of agony that we might feel. So we're gonna go do that real quick. <laughs> Is it okay if she gets video of me getting mine? Yeah. Josh, you are back. All right. This is a bag and this is a bag. Perfect. And there, just a couple floors. And then... <laughs> was it really that bad? It just made me want to sneeze. She's a tickler. Oh. Yeah, so Chris is like that. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It, just, it tickles a lot. Like, I'm about to sneeze. All right, guys, that's it. You're all done. Okay, perfect. Okay. It's all almost right. there. I, I can almost feel the sneeze coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. It's just, it's like it's right, <laughs> it's like it's right there. I gotta rub my nose to see if I can like get myself to sneeze. Um, okay, listen, if I it, can get it done, you can all get it done to travel or whatever it is you need to do because I had the flu swab done uh, last year just to check and I was fine. But when I got my flu swab done, I literally was crying after because it did actually hurt so bad. But that really was not bad. It was just like, I closed my eyes and I put my head back and then I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even see the swab. And so I started to open my eyes and I saw it coming towards me and was like, no. <laughs> so I stopped for a second and she said, I'll be super gentle. And she was very nice. She was. And she just put it in there. The, the worst part about it is that they do have to like move it around a little bit to make sure that they actually like do get some, yeah. you know, the test. but. Uh, it actually was not as bad as I, I and I'm not I'm not trying to laugh but I know it looks like that I may have been crying but like I literally it was there was no pain there was no discomfort it literally yeah. was just like somebody was tickling the inside of your nose yeah and it really just feels like you have to sneeze and it doesn't hurt mm -hmm. it was totally fine um we thought it didn't even take five minutes no we <laughs> it literally took like 10 seconds um we thought that it was going to be the super super long one where they go way way back it wasn't even like I that mean, at all. I mean, it was like a long thing, but it. No, the it, whole it entire, was like the whole, the whole, the whole thing stick didn't have to go in your nose. The whole <laughs> stick might have been like five inches, and it only went in maybe like two inches, if that. Yeah. It did not go far, so um, it's super. It's like it's an easy breezy type of thing. Don't mm -hmm. get worked up. Don't get uh, yeah. excited or, you know. For real though, if if this is all that it takes for me to be able to travel right now, I'm gonna keep doing it. There you go. <laughs> awesome. So let's go enjoy the rest of the day. Taylor wants to treat herself to a little Cafe de Paris. Uh, this is like the cafe here on property. And we've been here uh, several times since we, you know, since we checked in on Sunday, which has been really nice. So they've got coffees, they can do coffee liqueurs. Um, they've got ice cream, they've got uh, danishes in the morning. They've got uh, desserts right now in the afternoon and the ice cream. And what they're actually doing right now are crepes. So Taylor's gonna get a crepe. I'm probably not gonna get anything because you guys know me, I'm more savory. And uh, so I'll probably hold out till later on, but I think that was gonna get a crepe. Let's go see. Afternoon snack here from Cafe de Paris. <laughs> was it good? Vanilla iced coffee and a Nutella in, in the crepe. It's quite good. So we got our results, we're both negative, so we're good to go home. Um, one thing that's super important to check whenever they hand you your papers back is that all of your information is correct on there. So it has your, first, middle, and last names on there, and then your birth date. And uh, the person in front of actually, actually his uh, birth date was wrong on his paperwork. Um, so that has to match your passport exactly. Yep. Um, so just make sure that all that information is good to go before you leave, because um, it's 9.30 now, and he's actually being picked up at 10 o'clock, same thing as us, to go back to the airport. Um, so they're gonna fix that for him now, so everything's correct. Uh, that way he can get back into the US, but yeah. just super important to check that. Um, but that was super simple. We waited maybe a minute. Um, there was only a couple other people there in front of us um, and they have it all organized by your name and room number yeah. to get your paper back. And uh, I think if there was actually something wrong, like if you did actually text positive, yeah. because these are um, rapid tests. Yes, yeah, so they, they come back really They quick. probably would have let us know the night before to start setting up accommodations for us. Right. Um, if something was off or even potentially do another test to maybe roll it out. You know, that part I'm not exactly sure of, but I do know that if you do test positive, um, sandals will 
uh, start setting up room accommodations for you. Yes, uh, so on, you can do a quarantine for, I think they do 10 days, I and think then test so. you again. And then the only thing with that is that you just, you're restricted to your room, so. Right, um, but at least you don't have to worry about, you know, paying for something or figuring it out on your own if yeah. you do come to a Sandals resort, yeah. so. So, cool, we're gonna go grab our stuff, we're gonna go check out, and we're gonna wait to get on the bus.